Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another VeChain price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the VeChain chart and before I start the video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also consider checking out the channel membership and at the time of this recording VeChain is continuing to show a lot of strength where you can see that here on trading view the market is up by 2.89% and in this video I'll be giving you whatever we can expect to play out next here on the VeChain video on the short term and the long term scenarios and allow me to start the video here on the one hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening and also give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out where you can see that VeChain after making its low at around the $0.015 mark we started a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the edu structures where you can see that I have this fractal wave in blue having the wave 5 completing the formation of that higher edu wave count 1 to the upside and after seeing the formation of that higher edu wave count 1 we saw the formation of that wave 2 then a wave 3 a wave 4 then we have continued pushing even higher in the formation of this wave 5 and once we see the formation of that wave 5 come to a complete then we can turn this whole structure to the upside as a larger edu wave count 1 to the upside and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this wave 5 so that I can give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out over here I think that there are chances that we might not have seen the high for this higher edu wave count 5 to the upside and the reason as to why I'm saying that it's because within the formation of this wave 5 we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that higher edu wave count 5 because it's an impulsive wave and whatever we are seeing over here we can have these as the first wave to the upside then a wave 2 a wave 3 then these might be the wave 4 before we continue pushing a little bit higher in the formation of these wave 5 and once we make one more lower high over here in the formation of these wave 5 then we can term that as a higher edu wave count 5 to the upside and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of these wave 5 using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the high of that with 3 that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 at the FIB level 0.618 which perfectly lies at around the $0.02264 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting this wave 5 to the upside to do so there are chances that VeChain is going to show a little bit of strength fully maximize that target area here on the Fibonacci and once we make that high then from there we can turn this whole structure to the upside as a larger edu wave count 1 to the upside so once we see the high for that that wave 5 we can term this as a larger wave 1 before we see a bit of a retracement to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 then expect a wave 3 a wave 4 and then continue pushing a little bit higher in the formation of this wave 5 so on the short term scenarios I'm expecting a bit of a pump here on the V chain chart make a high at that target area at around the FIB level 0.618 and that perfectly lies at around the $0.02264 mark so once we fully maximize that target area we can name that as a larger edu wave count 1 to the upside then from here I'll be expecting a retracement to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci uh, to sketch out a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave down there to the high that I'm expecting to play out here on the charts we can get a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.618 which perfectly lies at around the $0.01942 mark and the $0.01847 mark and that is the minimum that I would expect that second wave to do once this high for this wave 1 plays out so that is what I'm expecting on the short term scenarios and we have the support of the 20 day MA for us to continue pushing a little bit higher and fully maximize that target area that I have shown you here on the chart and also taking a look at the indicators here on the one hour chart before I jump to the daily chart to give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the RSI we are trading at around the 67 mark meaning we have a bit of room for us to support any movements to the upper side and fully maximize that target area before we get into the overbought region also taking a look at the MACD we have printed a bullish cross and we are also seeing a bit of an increase in the buying momentum meaning higher prices are coming our way 
So let's be patient and see how that plays out and jumping to the daily chart to give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out. Here on the daily chart you can see that I have this editor structure in red where you can see from these top prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an all time high at around the $0.28 mark in what I'm terming as a higher editor wave count 1 to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we, ha we had been seeing no prices in this ABC corrective structure which took us back to around the $0.015 mark in what I'm terming as a higher ADU12 count 2 and after seeing the formation of a higher ADU12 count 2 whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of this higher ADU12 count 3 and using the trend based Fibonacci I have sketched out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and that perfectly lies at around the $0.46277 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting VeChain to do on the long term scenarios before we see a wave 4 then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5. So that is what I'm expecting on the short term and the long term scenarios and I hope that video was of much help to you.